Hello everyone, my name is Nex, and today I will be showing you how to build a translocation based highway for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now you've seen this translocation mechanic before on my channel, I used it for an elevator, but you can also use it horizontally, in this case for an actual highway. So just with a press of a button you get propelled forward and you don't need any rails or minecart or anything it's not a piston bolt it's kind of like a piston bolt but it's it's just you it's not any minecart and this is also very fast so i put up a 100 block highway right here and if i press the button i'll be there in about five seconds which is pretty fast compared to let's say a rail line or well blue ice is faster but let's get into that now so ray lines will take about 13 to 15 seconds, which is considerably slower. It's half as slow, a half as fast, or maybe even a third, depending, as this highway right here. And of course, blue ice, it's much faster. And I have this set up right here because there's this quirky bug in Micro Better Condition that if you have buttons on top of solid blocks, it retains its slipperiness, so we can have blue eye speed with uh, buttons for some reason. But yeah, yeah, let me just demonstrate how much faster this actually is. Yeah, as you can see, it, it's very fast compared to both of these. But yeah, in terms of speed, this is about between the blue eyes and the rail lines. And the advantage over the blue eyes here is that it's fully automatic, so you can chain it with the redstone, you can use it for... I don't know, transportation with farms, so you don't actually have to actively press forward in order to get moved, which is, you know, some use, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, just a press of a button, that's how I set, up, set it up right here, and you get propelled forward. Alright, so let's get into how to build this. So, to start this thing off, you will need one single button to, you know, actually make yourself go forward, a couple of repeaters. And then, moving on, for every two blocks you travel, you need one solid block, two redstone dust, one repeater, one slime block, one sticky piston, and one glass pane. Now, do note that this can also be a fence or an iron bar, so those two work, but I just like using glass panes, because glass panes look good. So before you get to building this, of course you need to make sure that you have a flat surface, and it needs to be uh, four times whatever length it is, and so yeah, it would just be that length right here. So yeah, make sure you have that amount of solid blocks placed. And we just want to start off by placing one button right here. Then we can place a single repeater on one tick right here, another repeater on two ticks, and some redstone dust, and then some solid blocks. We can place our first sticky piston, slime block, glass pane. Sticky piston, slime block, glass pane, and voila. Now take your repeaters, put one here and two ticks, two ticks, and now moving on, you want to put blocks at three spacing. So you need three blocks of space between each solid block, and do this as far as you want your thing to go. So I've done it to about here. Now you want to take two blocks of spacing, so one, two, and put it in the center. Uh, of this of this gap so just like this and just go all the way back like this all right now you want to take your repeaters again and put one in front of every solid block on two ticks so like this like this like this just repeat this process do this on both sides and it should be pretty simple and of course don't put them in front of your last blocks because you will not need to continue now take your redstone dust and make sure that you put it in front of this repeater and going into the solid blocks. So this is going to produce a chain, which is basically going to trigger the pistons and propel you forward. Alright, now once you've done that on both sides, it's going to get pretty simple. Just place a piston on each solid block. Pretty simple. I don't think you should be having any issues here. Alright, once you've done that on both sides, just go in front of each sticky piston and place a slime block. And this is where we are going to attach the actual glass panes or fences or iron bars or whatever you use. But yeah, just make sure to put it in front of the sticky pistons on both sides and you will be all good. And your next and final step is just to put glass panes at the sides of these slime blocks. 
So just go ahead and do that on both sides and then your translocation highway will actually already be done. Alright, this looks about complete to me, so let's get to using it. So first you're just gonna want to stand up right against that glass pane and press the button. And as you can see, I apparently didn't configure. Yep, that's right. So if you get stuck somewhere, that's very good that this happened. You probably did a uh, repeater timing wrong, so you could have forgotten one. I'm just gonna adjust that right here and try again. Mistakes happen, I guess. And there we go, perfect. This is our translocation highway complete. Now, I hope you enjoyed this short and arguably fairly useful tutorial. I think this is kind of expensive for what it does, and for most cases, you would be better off using this, um, you know, icebook glitch I showed off in a previous video already. But this is pretty useful for automatic things like, I don't know, Simtic based farms. And, you know, definitely has its use cases. I prefer it over piston bolts, but that's basically, I don't know, that's your opinion. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has been Nex, and goodbye.